Hey, how we y'all doing out there? Look at his hair. He's sleeping so beautifully. He's the king. Actually, he's more like a prince. But that does make him hint at the fact he's glorious. Chris, wake your ass up! Tits! So, for the live action movie, they totally should have uh, Orlando Blossom play him. Get out. <laughs> Orlando Bloomin' Onions, I know. Shut the fuck up, Matt. <laughs> God damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we gotta wake up the prince. You know what? Bloomin' Onions are delicious. They are. Z Z Z Z Z I have. You probably have to talk to the person right there. Oh, this herb will release the prince from Astos' curse. Look! He is waking. That's their voice. Is this a dream? Are you the Light Warriors? Is this for real? So, as legend says, I give you the mystic key. <laughs> I good? mean, we good? <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> Woo. Grade A voice actor, man. They need to hire you at Funimation. Yeah. Oh, man. Hey, back in the 90s, I probably would have qualified. Is there anything here I can open up? Uh, probably. Actually, I think so. Yeah, I think there was some kind of room up top. Not down there. Up top. Yeah, that room. That's on the outskirts of the castle. There might be another one in the castle, too. But I do remember we tried going in that. And I don't believe we succeeded. Because I'm pretty sure it was locked. Now we gotta take our asses back to Cornelia. Oh my god. And just think, there was also all those rooms that were locked in Marsh Cave. If you want to get those items. Whew. Silver Hammer! 400G! 330G! Copper Thing! Copper Sword. You might get the what the t copper sword. Uh, go back. I think um, I would have picked it up, but I think I have too much, too many items in my weapon slots. See. But token picked up that silver hammer for some reason. Trade. Go to trade. And then. Trade the, I guess, the rapier or the short sword to somebody, just so we have room. Yeah, I don't see that copper anywhere. Wait, was it copper sword? Because it doesn't—it didn't have the same image as these. Was it copper armlet? Copper, on token. Oh, what is it? It's—I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's something for copper, though. Uh, try and equip it on somebody, maybe? See what happens. Wrong, wrong thing. It was the other copper. <laughs> Token's wearing... <laughs> Two oh. hats! <laughs> All those hats, yes! So, I don't know who can... You should what, that is that? what is that? What is that? Um, let's see, copper item in locked room in, fuck, what's the name of this place? Uh, Elf? Mm-hmm. Elf Kingdom or something like that? Yeah. I don't know what the name of it is. Elf Land, okay. Uh, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. We're gonna go back to the Marsh Cave off screen. 
Yeah, that's what I was figuring. We'll take a ha happy ass in the back of the corner. Loot the Western Keep. Uh, wait, the Western Keep? Uh, there are four more places to revisit with the Mystic Key. Head to the Western Key. Oh, okay, that's where he was. That's the garden. That's where Gar Gar Garland is. Was that the Western Key? Yeah. Okay. Oh, do 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 do. Oh, so apparently it's in uh, the later games or the remakes of it. It's called the Jolt Tonic instead of the Herb. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, he will show you Mr. Key. The key will enable you to deliver. Start with the Elven Treasure, uh, which is outside of the right, outside to the right of the castle. You'll find a powerful mithril weapon, the mithril hammer, bronze gloves, and a good chunk of change. So I guess the bronze or the copper gloves. They did, that image did not look like gloves, did it? And who can equip them? Bronze gloves. Bronze gloves. Bronze gloves. Bronze gloves. Okay, let's see. Bronze gloves. Is a low ranked gloves that provides two defense, blah blah blah. It can be bought by blah, 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 blah. at Melmon found in Oven Castle. Oh, damn it, doesn't say who can equip it. Uh, the bronze gloves are a nice little upgrade for your warrior, uh, warrior, knight, or ninja. So, literally, none of our characters will ever be able to equip it. Yep. Lovely. Don't you just love that when you get an awesome item, you're like, hey, this item is going to be cool. And then nobody in your party can equip it. Yep. And you're just like, fuck. Mm -hmm. That always sucks. Dude, that was my feeling when, um, I'm like, that was one of the things that always annoyed me in, in uh, the original Pokemon games. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you'd be wandering around or talking to the right person. And it's like, here's TM, I don't know, something OP, like <laughs> Hyper Beam or something. And I was like, yeah, awesome. Can't use, can't use, can't use, can't use, can't use. Well, damn. You're like, god oh, damn it. Right? Mm, they're dead. Oh, damn, they aren't. Damn, that not hit hard. That's better. Um, let's see. Die! Because in our game, it's called Copper, right? Mm-hmm. So that'd be the Copper Gauntlet. Same thing, yeah. Fighter, Knight, Ninja. I forgot they changed it from Fighter to Warrior. But yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look at that beautiful background. You're sailing on some nice, calm seas. They look calm because everything's dying, Matt. Nice, calm seas. <laughs> They're all dead! Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Alright, time to open some of these treasure chests. Nope. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Yeah, it's those right there, right? All the way to fuck around. But yeah, um, that's why I always try, when I play games like Pokemon, I try to have a team of very, you know, diverse Pokemon. Yeah. You know, something so that it's not, I don't have to run into that, that issue. Yeah, see, when I was younger, I was kind of dumb about that. I was like, oh, I like this Pokemon, so I'm going to use this one. And then I ended up having pretty much, I'd say, about every... About every uh, fire type in the game on my team. Mm -hmm. Because I liked fire types. I was like, yeah, fire types, they're cool. Is the Iron Staff better for me? I don't know. 
Oh, can you even equip it? We're about to find out. Nope. That might be the weapon for a uh, token, actually. Let's find out. Uh, do 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 do. Iron staff. Fighter, knight, ninja, black belt, TNT. martial artist. Oh, I, you need that. That's actually a key item. Because I think we're about to find dwarves or something. And I think they're going to help you out. Oh, yeah, the dwarves out. are, like, running around because they're like, Ah, oh, we gotta, we can't get past this. There's a rock slide. Give them the TNT and they blow shit up. Mm. Where are they at, dude? <laughs> what? What? See, now, that's the good question. Where are they at, dude? And literally, the iron staff is, as, is costing as much as the superior iron nunchuck. So, no idea why you would get the iron staff in place of the iron nunchucks. It has a slightly better critical hit rate than the iron nunchucks, but it's not actually supposed to. Good job, guys. Good job on this game. <laughs> Hey, they tried to go out with a bang. This is the final fantasy. This is it. The last, the last stand. Yup. You equipped sleep with the uh, missile hammer, right? That's what he just hit. Okay, thought so. Just making sure. I thought that looked different because it's like blue. Um. Okay. You know, I'm gonna go and look up the TNT, so that will hopefully tell us exactly where we need to go. Uh. Eric the Dwarf needs the TNT, uh, which allows you to blah blah blah. It can be found in Castle Corneria's treasure vault and in, is in fact the only mystic key locked item required to advance the plot. Um, do 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 do. Related. Search for locked treasures. Ninja counter. Okay, but where do we take it? Um. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. That's cool. Wow. Just a, it's a uh, reference. I think um, the caves of Narsh in Final Fantasy VI are actually a reference to an area in this game. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Uh, do, 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 do. Like it's, okay, so we're not there yet. Escape, Castle Cornelia, Castle and the gold you picked up by heels. Once you've gotten the TNT from the Castle at Corneria, go to the Dwarf Cave. Where is the Dwarf Cave? When you use the. You will find the canal. Go through the. That is not where it is. Mm -hmm. uh, Final Fantasy 1. We're about location. to be on an adventure, guys. <laughs> I hope y'all ready for this. Dwarf. Dwarf. <laughs> I, I typed in Dwarf, excellent. Oh my god, good job, man. Thank you, I do my best. Is a location, it is here where the dwarves reside, Mount Doria. It is located at the western edge of the Aldian Sea on a, man, uh, on a landmass only accessible by ship. Oh shit, a cabin, nice. So, okay, when you leave here, bring up the um, world map, mm -hmm. and I think I'll be able to spot, I'll be able to figure out where it is. Cool! Adventure! Hmm. Okay. What? Oh, just, um, there's a quest later on. Where uh, you have to go back to the dwarves to possibly get the excavator. Mm. Too good to hit that spider for 156 damage. God! Fuck spiders! <laughs> <laughs> like, my goodness gracious. Fuck you, Charlotte's Web. <laughs> Fuck the whole glass book. Love that movie, though. Mm. Chance to strike first! Yay! We're gonna what wreck What shall I do? I guess you could say they're boned. 
Shut the fuck up, Matt. Why? Why? Why do you do <laughs> things like this to me? I'm trying to concentrate, play the RPG with the fans and the fellow people of the internet. They're trying to root us on, hopefully, hoping that we get done with this game before the fucking end of the year. We might. We might. <laughs> Probably not. Dude, let, let's face facts here. We got this, Matt. Okay. We got this. Okay. Okay. Believe. We got this. I believe in us. I do. Yeah. What did we get? <clears throat> That's helpful. One Ooh. ghoul. <laughs> spooky, spooky <laughs> skeleton. <laughs> I would love it if... Oh, dude, I'll bet you if they had made a live-action version of this, the ghouls would have just been, like, people with bedsheets over them, just going, ooh. I really hope no. <laughs> um, even if even if this movie was made in the 90s, uh, CGI <laughs> was on the rise, and they most definitely should have done more than just that. But it would have been funny. I don't care if it was using a horrible-ass, like, at graphics from the uh, Power Rangers movie. Like, I would be... <laughs> those graphics. Those just were horrible. Even as a kid, I thought they were bad. Like, yeah, I still enjoyed that movie. I love that movie. But I thought it was bad. Oh, bad. no. Gargoyles. Oh, psh. We know how to handle these guys now. Beat them up. Glad you are all kinds of optimistic with our abilities. Never just mind. Just Sleep just got hit for, like, a, whole, for a bunch of damage. Yeah. Yep. That didn't happen when I, when I was helping out. No, I did. Token, revenge! So you've got that 18 points of revenge. Damn. He hits for 59. I'm not lying. Like, I am pleased with that jump in damage that he's getting. Right. You know, this was a struggle. Pretty sure this may be that, that kind of team where the beginning is super, super hard, but once we get to the end, it's going to be good. Mm hmm. Alright. Give him a treasure. Ooh, ring sword? Let's check on that, shall we? Yes. Who got it? Um, what? Baby? Let's see. Wait, that's a silver knife. Oh shit! You could probably use that. Trade silver. Give it to me. Oh, huh, that's interesting. So apparently the thief can use the rune sword, which is pretty nice. Is he going to um, <laughs> I'm like, okay, so I'm going to read this because it's funny. The rune sword is nearly identical to the wear sword, also found in uh, Temple of Fiends, except that a thief can only use the rune sword, which isn't actually accurate according to what I'm reading right here. Um, it's not a bad sword. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, can only use the rune sword, and it looks much cooler. It's not a bad sword, except in comparison to, damn it, the Silver Sword in Elfland. It has a slightly higher crit rate than the Wear Sword, making it arguably the most effective of the three Mystic Key locked specialty swords of, for a fighter. So I could use it, but I don't think it's going to be as useful, because that's the Rune Sword, 18 plus 15 percent. And then I have the Silver Sword, 18 and 15. 18 and 15, 18 and 15. Yeah, the Silver Sword has a higher automatic damage output, so we're better off using that. <coughs> About like, I set five points automatically. <clears throat> That's too bad, because I would have liked using that, because that sounds like a cool weapon. Right. You got a room sword to cast some magic. I mean, right. it would be the epitome of you, because you're a red mage. Magic Good. and attacking with swords and healing all wrapped into one. Yeah. Oh, well. Too bad. Right? <laughs> oh, well. Oh, man. Meanwhile, these wolves are getting fucked up. I just hit one for 94 damage. Damn. Goddamn. Well, no, you did. You're doing fire too right now. Jeez. 
Yeah. So I know we're playing Final Fantasy and we're supposed to be talking about good old fashioned RPGs and blah blah blah. Right. Fuck. Supposed that. to. Sonic Mania just dropped. I'm not trying to date the episode, but fuck it. Too late. Okay. <laughs> Sonic Mania just dropped. And I played it and fucking oh my god, it's such a good game. You played the shit out of that game? I did play the game for four hours straight when we first got it when I got home. I, mean, I don't blame you. You're like, it is a legitimate Sonic game. I'm gonna do the same thing so when Sonic good. Forces come out. So when Sonic Forces come out, I'm literally going to do the same, the same thing, including streaming it. Including, including streaming it. Yeah. Like legit. I'm looking forward to that. Oh. <laughs> Technical issues, guys. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord. <laughs> Damn it. Shut up, Matt. We're still here. We are still living. Good job. We did it. Oh my God, shut up, Matt. <laughs> Jesus. Like, have a little bit of faith in me. I do. do I have you really? I have a little bit of faith in you. Do you really? A little bit, yeah. How much is a little? Well, after that just happened. <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry. But the mic is the, the mic holder, this is your mic by the way. Yeah, I've yeah. never had these issues with it. Whatever, Matt. I've never had I, <laughs> We should probably actually continue playing well, once you're done on. figuring this out. Shut up! Technical difficulties, shit! Okay. We're back. Do you wanna be all sexy and just share the mic together? Oh my god. Oh we're fine. We're, we're great. We're good. They can hear me. I'm, I rest assured they can hear me. He doesn't want to share with me. Shut up, man. It makes me sad. You'll be okay. Fuck. <laughs> Teardrop. Yeah, you'll be alright. Well, fuck you too. We're friends. We are. <laughs> God <You're being> <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Never mind. But going back to Sonic Mania. Yes. I'm, the game is good. I don't care whatever outlet you listen to or review site says this, that, and the third, and they're like, oh, you know, well, it could be better. Blah, 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 blah. No. <laughs> no. No. Sonic Forces is good. Really, really good. Wait, Sonic Forces is good? I mean, Mania. Sonic Forces is going to be good, though. I mean, it looks really good, yeah. I just want to make sure you knew that which game you were talking, talking about. about Mania. Yes, yeah. Mania. And it's just and it's crazy though. Like <laughs> it took a guy who doesn't even really work out gate for Sega. Well, he kind of works for Sega now. But yeah, but in the beginning he was he like, was doing his own thing, wasn't he? Doing his own thing, making Sonic mods, making fan made levels and shit like that. Yeah. And then Sega so you see this guy making shit, and they're like, "Hey, you there?" With the cool look of Sonic games. Make us one. Yeah. Thanks. And he made it. It's awesome. It's only $20, too. The thing is, ah, oh, it's. That's it's a good worth price. It. I'm yeah. actually going to buy it again. I bought it for the PS4. I'm going to buy it again for the Switch. Then you can play it on the go. I'm most definitely going to play it on the go. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, um, I really like that game. I mean, I really. Really like that game. I mean, we were talking about it, what, last night? That, um, this year has been really good for video games. It's been very, very good for video games. Well, like, extremely, extremely well. Yeah, even if you're not a fan of certain games, other good games have come out. <laughs> Fuck you, Gargoyles. But yeah, it's back to the games. Yes. Hey, we've had, this has been a good year for games and music. Music has yep. been really, really good this year. Like, Really, really, really good. Um, uh, I just wish that other things going on this year wasn't happening. Yeah, me too. I, I mean, I just I'm not gonna get too political on the show, but I just wish, really wish that people would learn that peace and harmony is the way to go. Yeah, that's always been my philosophy. It's better just to get along with people if and when you can. Yeah, 118 damage. Nice. Eat a dick gargoyle. Yeah. Eat oh, she two did. Dicks. That was a one. Maybe all right. Yo. Dun, 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 dun. 
Oh, excuse me. Don't these gargoyles know that these are breaking the rules? They're only supposed to come out at nighttime. Freeze come out at night. Do, 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 do. Freeze come out at night. Yeah. I should yeah. say that. I've accidentally seen some things about gargoyles. I didn't want to wear a sword. And there's the wear sword, which I think is about Saw. the same. <laughs> More gargoyles. Fine. Everybody wants to get fucked up today? Let's, let's do it. Everyone. Everyone on a single file line to get fucked up. That's what we're doing. That's what we do here at V Major Gaming. We fuck y'all up. Because y'all like, oh, look at us. We're just some gargoyles hanging out in the room. After you stole our treasure, we're going to fight you. Look at our arms. We're ready for a hug. It's free hug, big bitch. Come and get your hug. And we're all like, no. Time for you to roast. <laughs> and that's the end of my story. Okay. Matt, don't judge. Oh, don't gouge. Ouchies. My oh, sleep is almost dead. So pretty much the fact that we bought the silver sword has negated both of those swords. These were supposed to be the good, like, midway weapons. If you didn't get the silver sword. But you know what? It was worth it getting that it silver sword. It was worth it because shit was fucking us up. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not even complaining about it. But we're gonna need to start selling some items or something because our weapon slot's about full, I think. We can. Yeah. I guess. We got some duplicates. I mean, like, I don't think we really need any more short sword. True. Yeah. Sorry, guys, we're getting into the music again. I like the themes of the fighting thing for this song. Yep. But it's for the uh, Final Fantasy 1. Yep. Uh, battle themes, like I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before, but battle themes are my favorite things about RPGs and they are my greatest weaknesses when it comes to writing music. Mm. Writing a battle theme is so fucking rough. But I've actually got a new um, kind of stride in creativity because of Sonic Mania. Cool. And the sound design in that game. Oh yeah. my god, it's just so The music in that's wonderful. really good too, yeah. Oh man, I really like that uh, mid-boss theme. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it is it's great. Plus, don't a lot of those stages have uh, remixed music? Yeah. I like how we're listening to music from one game and you're doing the music from a completely I, I, different other game. Sorry, I really <laughs> don't. Alright, we're out. And, um, actually, go ahead and uh, explain why is um, battle music hard to do? Well, because like, I have my own theories on it, but I don't know if it's. Battle accurate. music is not, it's, it's only hard for me. Like, oh. I can write, I guess it's just the way that I write music. It's mm. easier for me to write music when I'm writing music for, like, um. Go and finish your um, it, It's easier for me to write music. In a style of like R and B and hip hop and stuff like that, and when you're doing RPGs, a lot of times they want something that's kind of kind of on the line of technoy, borderline um, rock, hard rock, something like that. Um, they don't all follow that formula, gotcha. but it's just it's a it's another it's putting your foot in a genre that I'm not used to writing for. But when it comes to writing like town themes, city themes. Like, you know, oh shit, just shit, just hit the fan kind of songs. I could do that easily. And hmm. you've heard some of the, the music yeah. I've written. Um, oh, yeah, I like the music you've written so far. Uh, I, I do. I just, I, it's, battle music is hard for me. It's, and it's one of those things that I'm like, yeah, 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 I'm going to write music for uh, video games and this developer and this company right here. They're going to hire me, this, all that, and the other. And here's my portfolio. And they're going to look at it and they're like, um, Where's the battle music? Uh, Mr. Thomas. And I'd be like, yeah. And then they'd be like, um, there's some tracks missing on this uh, project. And I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> and then they'd be like, uh, would you care to explain? And I'd be like, mm, nope. <laughs> and then that's the end of my story. Yup. <laughs> See, I was, I was honestly thinking that'd be hard because of 
even compared to exploration music, like world map music and stuff, you probably hear the battle music the most often in the game, and so mm -hmm. I would think that trying to make something that doesn't get too repetitive, well, because you know you want to you want to make something that continuously sounds good. Yeah, it always has loops, but you do want something that has a little bit of, I guess, quote unquote, flavor okay. to it. You Makes know, sense. Um, a lot of a lot of songs that you hear are loops, like you know the song that we're listening to now. You hear that initial do. Yeah, that's kind of like what they call what we call a stinger. Hmm. Um, and after that, the song that you hear is on repeat. It's a loop. Gotcha. It's a perfect loop. Um, and, you know, that style of writing where it has to be a perfect loop, nothing segues to nothing. Uh -oh. It's just perfect. Um, that's kind of, it's not hard. It's just that's something I'm not used to. Yeah, it's not what you're used to doing. That right. makes sense. So... Okay. I'm still practicing. I'm still trying to get better, guys. I'm trying to haunt, like roast you in a comic session and be like, "Oh God, Risa, you suck." You know, get good scrub, and I'll be like, "Thanks." <laughs> nice of you. But all right, guys. Yeah, so I, we got a comment question for you today. Do you have one, or do you want me to give another one? Um. What is? What is something in your profession that is just just rough for you to do? Like something that's just just hard. Like like I said, like battle music is kind of hard for me to do when I'm writing music. Um, if you're a writer, what, what style or genre of writing is just something that's just rough for you to do? Um, if you cook, what are some dishes that are just not your forte? Um, please comment and let us know in the comment section. Yeah, and actually I'll help you guys out here. I'll give you mine. For me, when it comes to writing, the one thing that I am the worst at probably is I'm good at creating parts to my story, but I'm horrible at figuring out a good transition for from like one part to another. Oh, that's easy. I, I have a rough time with that for some reason, because I'm the type of person who likes to keep the action going, and I know you can't just constantly have nothing but action. So I need to figure out a better way to transition from one thing to another. Gotcha. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> Understandable. Yep. But again, I mean, everybody has their own things that they're not, you know, they don't have a good grasp on mm -hmm. and stuff. But Absolutely. we've kept you guys a little bit long on this episode. So until next time, see ya. Y'all stay sexy. Hit it.